we always think about early stage, late stage. Melanoma, like all cancers, is staged. So in melanoma, when you do the staging, you need to do a biopsy. A biopsy is when a dermatologist or other physician either takes a shave biopsy like I had last week, where they have, it looks like a little, like a straight razor, and it has a device where you can uh, slide the razor parallel to the skin and it takes a little shave off and it leaves a tiny hole or divot in your skin and it heals over very quickly. Uh, or you can do an excisional biopsy, which is where you cut around the, the, the abnormality and it looks like a little oval and then the surgeon closes it back up and puts in a stitch or two or the dermatologist, whoever it is who takes the biopsy. Those are the two ways that melanoma is usually diagnosed when it's in the early stage. Early stage is stage one and stage two when the melanoma is confined to the skin, only in the skin. And once it spreads beyond the skin, then it's stage three. Stage three means it's beyond the skin, but it's still around the area where it started. The word we use is local regional which makes sense. Local means not far away from its origins. And stage four means it's spread distantly or it's metastatic. But making the diagnosis of the early stage, stage one and two melanomas, is usually the province of the dermatologist, sometimes the surgeon, and uh, it requires a biopsy. It would be nice if you could simply look at a melanoma and say, oh boy, that's a melanoma. In fact, if a melanoma is a typical looking melanoma, a well-trained dermatologist will take one look and say, oh boy, that's worrisome, let's get a biopsy. I think that's a melanoma. However, even the best trained dermatologist uh, can disagree on the appearance of an atypical, a non-typical lesion that might not have pigment, that might not be very irregular, but could still be a melanoma. And that's when you need the biopsy and you need to cut it out or shave it, look at it under the, the pathologist will then cut thin sections, lay it out onto a slide, and you literally, the pathologist will look at it under the microscope. And when it is not a typical melanoma, that's when it's the pathologist who makes the call. The classic typical melanoma, like I said, a good dermatologist can tell it from two yards away. So the typical history, that brings somebody to the dermatologist, actually it's kind of like what happened to me a couple of weeks ago. It was an evolving lesion. Now, I couldn't see it, it was on the top of my head. And when the dermatologist showed me the photograph, I realized it was a whitish crested lesion. That's almost certainly not a melanoma. But what if it had been a dark, irregular raised lesion that had bled and I scratched it and saw a drop of blood on my finger? That would be the classic, an evolving dark lesion. Sometimes in areas that you can't see, it's on your back, you can't, you know, it's your spouse who might, or a friend who might look at it and say, oh, that doesn't look good. But you can't see the ones on your back. So that's why if you can feel it on your back and it's raised and it's bled, you go to the dermatologist or your primary care doc if they're comfortable doing biopsies. and. Bottom line is you're going to need to have a biopsy. As we say in our business, tissue is the issue. Uh, without it, you can't make a definitive diagnosis.